Tesla and Elon Musk have just revealed an impressive update to their Optimus robot, and it has many people wondering, are we really getting closer to robots with almost human-like behavior? It seems that way. The new version of the Tesla bot may finally silence the jokes and criticism that have been circulating since its announcement. Those comparisons saying that it walked like Biden, or like someone leaving the gym after a leg workout. Well, that phase is over. The new generation of Optimus shows remarkable improvements, with visible acceleration and a much smoother gait. The movements now seem more natural, signaling a level of sophistication that could transform the industry. And as the official launch approaches, the robot is becoming more polished. If it continues at this pace, Elon Musk believes it could reach the market practically finished, with only a few adjustments remaining. But what has actually changed in Optimus? It's time to delve into the universe of Tesla. One of the most common questions since the robot's first appearance has always been, why has Optimus never walked in a truly human way? Why does he walk strangely, with his knees always bent as if he were crossing the room with pain in his legs? And why was he so slow? These doubts fueled criticism. Some even said they would never put money into the project. Others thought Tesla should give up on the robot and focus solely on electric cars. And frankly, many current humanoid robots have the same problem. A stiff, unbalanced, and even comical gait, as if they had all taken the same course on how to walk like a tired politician. However, few people know the real reason behind this style of locomotion. That inclined posture with bent knees was not a design flaw, but rather a technical choice. By keeping the center of gravity lower, the robot gains more stability, especially on uneven terrain or when making quick movements. As strange as it may seem, this way of walking helped to prevent falls. Still, the public expects more. They expect a robot that walks upright safely and naturally, like a human being. And it seems that Tesla has heard this message. In a recent video released by Elon Musk, Optimus can be seen with much more refined movements. Milan Kovac, responsible for the project, commented on the X network that the robot now walks with its knees more extended, taking natural steps from heel to toe, with its arms moving harmoniously. All of this was achieved through training and simulations with real-world reinforcement learning. The video shows Optimus walking around a factory, probably the Fremont test facility. Two things stand out, his walking posture and his speed. Compared to previous footage, the improvement is clear. Before, he would drag himself along with an unsteady gait. Now he walks lightly as if he were simply strolling. While the previous crooked gait had a practical function, providing balance, it didn't quite fit with what the public expects from a modern robot. Tesla understood this and what we see now is an optimist that's much closer to what we imagine robots that mimic humans to be. Making a robot walk like a person is far from simple. The more natural we want the movements to be, the more challenging the engineering work behind it becomes. For Optimus to walk with his legs extended, for example, his knees and ankles need to handle impacts differently. This required the development of extremely precise actuators, which act as the robot's muscles, capable of applying force to the ground in a continuous and controlled manner. If this force isn't applied correctly, the robot could stagger stumble, or fall. Perhaps that's why Elon Musk summed up the new Optimus demo with the phrase, precise actuators accelerate automation. Having powerful motors isn't enough. They also need to be lightweight, so as not to compromise balance during movement. Without sophisticated control systems, the robot would have slow, shaky, or clumsy movements. After all, no matter how advanced it is, it is still a machine, not a human being. Our bodies maintain balance in an extraordinary way thanks to fast reflexes and perfect coordination between muscles, all controlled by a highly efficient nervous system. Optimus, on the other hand, needs to simulate all this body intelligence with sensors, joints, and internal cables. Therefore, seeing it move fluidly today already represents a huge technological leap. Now talking about performance and speed, as we already knew, Optimus previously achieved about one meter per second, a modest mark when compared to humanoid robots like Boston Dynamics Atlas or Unitree's H1. But with the latest update, it's clear that Tesla's robot has gained more agility. It's not yet entirely clear whether this speed gain is due exclusively to the new walking style or whether it also involves structural improvements, such as a lighter design and more efficient actuators. Tesla has not yet revealed all the technical details, 
but from the images released it is possible to estimate that Optimus now walks at around 1.4 meters per second, a considerable improvement. In addition to the visible improvements in mobility and walking pace, Tesla's latest video brought some curious elements. In the background, it is possible to see other robots stationary, apparently connected to chargers, as if they were in a kind of rest zone. And this detail draws attention because in a presentation made last year, Tesla explained how Optimus manages its own energy recharge. When the battery level starts to drop, an LED light on the robot's head changes color, usually orange or red. Initially, it was thought that the charging system would be similar to the system used in Tesla electric cars, requiring manual connection. But the company's goal is to automate everything. In the latest video, we see that Optimus itself is able to connect to the charger on its own, which makes perfect sense. To recharge, the robot enters a sleep mode, relaxing its motors, similar to what we do when we sleep. Although it would be possible to lay it down on a surface to do this, this option would take up too much space. So the solution adopted was to leave it standing up, attached to a suspended charger. Here's how it works. Using cameras positioned on its back, the robot automatically reverses to the charging point and connects without needing human help. This process is very similar to the autonomous docking system that Tesla has been developing for the CyberCab. Another interesting point is that the chargers shown in this latest video are different from the wall-mounted model shown earlier. This could indicate that Tesla is testing new charging options, perhaps more practical or better suited to an industrial environment. The Optimus can operate for between 8 and 10 hours on a single charge, depending on the activities you are performing. If you are performing heavy tasks, moving constantly or carrying objects, the battery will run out faster. However, during lighter or static activities, the battery life tends to be longer. When you hear that the robot can work for up to 10 hours straight, you might think it's carrying a huge battery, right? But Tesla went a different route. Instead of installing a large power pack, the company opted for a 2.3 kWh battery, a modest capacity. While larger than many other humanoid robots, it's still small compared to what Tesla could use, given its battery expertise. This choice was strategic. A smaller battery reduces the robot's weight, which translates into greater agility and lower production costs. If a larger battery were used, Optimus would be heavier, slower, and more expensive. To compensate, Tesla integrated one of its most advanced technologies, the 4680 cell, also used in vehicles such as the Cybertruck. This type of cell has high energy density, ensuring good autonomy without compromising lightness. The second-generation Optimus currently weighs around 62 kilograms, and thanks to the combination of the 4680 cell and the compact 2.3 kWh pack, it can be fully charged in just 10 minutes. For comparison, a Tesla Model Y with an 81 kWh battery needs around 30 minutes to fully charge. Of course, a battery that is 35 times smaller charges much faster. In addition to its battery life and fast recharge, Optimus also impresses with its ability to interact. It recognizes its surroundings, responds to voice commands, and performs tasks fluidly. One of the most notable features is its hands with five articulated fingers, with proportions similar to those of a human being, which gives it surprising precision and dexterity. Unlike Boston Dynamics Atlas, which uses more rigid claw-shaped hands, Optimus performs delicate and precise movements. Imagine Atlas trying to catch a tennis ball naturally. It would be funny. Tesla's true differentiator lies precisely in its philosophy of creating a robot with a shape and functionality that is as close as possible to that of a human. This provides far superior performance in tasks that require coordination and subtlety. Elon Musk has stated several times that Optimus has enormous potential, far beyond that of a simple assistant. Imagine having a robot at home that, in addition to being a pleasant companion, also takes care of the cleaning, tends to the garden, walks the dog, helps with homework, or even babysits. Tesla has already released several images and videos showing its Optimus robot acting as a janitor and factory worker. What once seemed like a scene from a futuristic movie is now becoming an increasingly close reality. Just imagine, Optimus acting as a personal assistant, security guard, or even a patient caretaker. It still sounds like something from the future, but there are concrete reasons to believe that he can perform these functions efficiently. 
The robot is equipped with at least eight 2D cameras and state-of-the-art sensors, similar to those used in Tesla's autopilot system. This technological combination allows Optimus to detect movements, recognize faces, and identify unusual behavior in different environments at any time of day. With autonomy of up to 10 hours of continuous operation, it could easily act as a night watchman in homes or businesses. In the healthcare sector, especially in clinics and nursing homes, Optimus could help with patient transportation, feeding, or even changing clothes. This represents a quiet but profound transformation in the way technology can support human care. With sensors capable of monitoring vital signs, such as heart rate and blood pressure, and sending automatic reports to doctors or family members, the robot has the potential to become an indispensable ally in caring for elderly people who live alone. It's a considerable advance, and it's impossible to ignore the boldness of Tesla's vision in this field. Instead of focusing solely on job replacements, the focus should be on the real possibilities that Optimus offers. It can help you organize your schedule, write documents, answer emails, and even make breakfast, making it an ideal assistant for your daily routine. And at the rate that technology is evolving, this scenario is closer than many people think. What really sets Optimus apart from other systems is the way it is trained. Instead of relying on traditional programming, with commands coded line by line, the robot adopts an approach similar to that of autopilot. It learns by observing images and videos, interpreting the environment around it to decide how to act. Of course, its operation is more complex than that of a self-driving car. After all, it has more joints and freedom of movement. But the risks involved are much lower. If the robot drops an object, the damage is minimal. On the other hand, a mistake in a vehicle can have serious consequences. If Tesla can apply the same level of precision to Optimus that it achieved with Autopilot, powered by massive amounts of data, the robot could achieve even more refined performance, especially in factories where routines change frequently. In traditional industrial settings, configuring automation for a new task can take weeks or even months, even for simple functions, a costly and time-consuming process. In this scenario, the Tesla bot's greatest asset is its ability to learn and adapt without needing constant reprogramming. This represents a significant savings in time and money. This versatility makes Optimus an ideal tool for performing internal tasks at Tesla's own facilities. From organizing parts on assembly lines to precisely positioning battery cells to assisting with cleaning areas of the factory. And the company is taking this seriously. At an all-hands meeting with employees in the first quarter of 2025, Elon Musk revealed that the Fremont factory has already manufactured the first fully assembled humanoid unit from the Optimus production line. According to him, the minimum goal for 2025 is to deliver at least 5,000 units, but the internal goal is much more ambitious, between 10,000 and 12,000 robots ready by the end of this year. Many people are worried that artificial intelligence will take their jobs. But in practice, AI is a tool, and like any powerful tool, it can enhance human performance. What determines its value in the job market is its ability to generate results, and those who know how to use AI intelligently can significantly increase this value. Optimus, while capable of automating repetitive tasks, also opens up new opportunities for jobs in areas such as automation engineering, programming, and robot maintenance. Some still question the usefulness of human-like robots, arguing that purpose-built machines would be more efficient for simple tasks. This logic made sense in past decades, but today's scenario demands more adaptable and intelligent solutions. It's no coincidence that tech giants around the world are investing in humanoid robots. This isn't a waste of resources. It's a strategic response to the increasing complexity of modern environments. Take a moment to reflect. Why would someone like Elon Musk one of the most visionary and influential minds on the planet, be investing so much in this project. It's not naivety. Billionaires often see what most people haven't even begun to imagine. Optimus has the potential to generate enormous financial returns. Musk has already mentioned that the sale price could range from $2,000 to $30,000 per unit. And there are estimates that each robot could save companies up to $155,000 per year in operating costs. In the home environment, this savings could reach $6,000 per year. Now think about the possibilities. What could you do with that kind of savings? 
Ideas that once seemed like something out of a science fiction movie are becoming part of our everyday lives. And Tesla is at the forefront of this transformation, making the future not only real, but also functional and accessible.